Good morning, guys. It is a very, very wet, soggy one. Oh, look at my birthday gift. Yep, my birthday was in May, and I got me a 7 Series BMW. You know, you have to, you have to upgrade. <laughs> yeah, beautiful morning. Everything is super wet. We had uh, thunderstorms all night. And when I tell you all night, I mean all night. Screw here too. So yeah, it's been raining all night. And uh, today is one of those videos where I will be going and search off and you know how you know when certain lawns you can mow and certain lawns you can't so that's what i'm going to do get out there get hot and try to find the lawns that we can get done you know it's hard to make videos oh no turn off it's hard to make videos the dog on cell phone, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's pull this up. But yeah, yeah, guys, you gotta um, you gotta enjoy life sometimes. You know what I mean? What What are you working for? That's my That's my motto. What am I working for? I'm working to have a good life. And. Some of you guys may say, that's kind of, you know, you should be saving your money, blah, blah, blah. I'm glad that you guys are thinking about my money. <laughs> but believe me, when I tell you, I have a nice, nice amount of savings and I also have some, some very good investments. But again, this is a long care channel, so we're not going to focus on that. We are going to focus on finding the right lawn to mow, okay? And I'm backing up, guys, so I do apologize. Yeah, currently we have a, like a 60% chance of rain this afternoon. So I'm trying to get all this done. Well, as much as I can, like I said. No big deal. Not sweating it. We're going to get it. I just finished mowing this property right here because this is one of those properties that I can mow when it's raining. And uh, look at the skies. It's been raining all night. And it stops for a little bit so I came out here to hit this one up real quick because I know I can get it. But um, as you can tell, it is still soaked. It is soaking wet, but uh, I'm not leaving any brown lines. And uh, it looks decent. It looks presentable. Now, I just finished blowing it. And when you're blowing in these situations, man, <laughs> it, takes some, uh, it takes some time. You have to really take your time and blow. Because it doesn't just go away like when it was dry. But um, this is an example of another one of mine that I can't mow. And you guys have been following me for a while. This is one of my six that I have in a row. You see how wet this is? This is super wet, so I can't mow this. I have to wait. But this is an example of, look at this, the sun. The sun is out. <clears throat> so for a lot of you guys, your customers will call you and ask you, why aren't you mowing? Why aren't you mowing my lawn? And I've had that happen to me when I first started doing a lawn mowing and lawn care. The customers will automatically see the sun come out and under the impression that you can mow. But that's where you, as a professional, need to let them know and remind them 
that because the sun is out doesn't mean that everything automatically dries up. Even this one that I did just now is still soggy and wet, but I can get away with it. And this one over here, I can't. But yeah, remind your customers that because the sun is out, it doesn't mean that you can come out and, 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 and mow. Sometimes you have to go to the point and say, hey, listen, go out in your yard and walk around and let me know if, you, if the if the soil is, is, is sturdy enough for me to come out and put a mower on it. And also you gotta remind them that if you put a mower on it, you're gonna leave ruts, indentation in their lawns, and you're gonna also leave brown lines. And that will most of the times deter them from, uh, you know, being so bushy. And, uh, and I, again, guys, customers just don't get it. They don't understand. And, and it's just because you have to educate them on it. Um, most of my customers, they don't mind. They don't bug me or, or text me or whatever. And some of them, um, I'll send a quick email, let them, let them know that or text that I'm, I will be there as soon as I can safely put a mower on their property. And that will kind of uh, alleviate you from the phone calls and you know, et cetera, et cetera. All right, guys, today is a wet day and this is, I already got five this morning and I will show you here in a few. And this is one that I did after the five, but I wanted to put this at the beginning of the video uh, just to let you guys know that this will happen, okay? All right, let's see what else we can get into. All right, guys, let me get my headphones. Can't do anything without these. So, I have one, two, three, and then four and five. <sighs> Don't knock them out. Knock them out, knock them out, knock them out. This should be, this should be good enough where I can mow. Oh yeah, yeah. I can definitely put a mower on this. Yep. And one thing I'd like to tell you guys, make sure you always walk your properties. Oh, it's fogging up. Hold on. There you go. So, we're gonna get hot. Uh, guys, let me tell you. This is a Toro Z Master 4000. The best freaking mower on the planet. You will not find any other mower that cuts better than this uh, lawnmower right here. Okay? None. I don't care what you do or what you say. You Zero. This is the best one in the world. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how people say that? Huh? <laughs> People always tell you that such and such a mower is the best in the land. It make, gives you the best cut on the wet conditions. It is the best one in the world. And, and this is the one that you need to buy because it does this, it does that, it does the other. Guys, let me tell you, when it comes to lawnmowers, you know, they're man-made. They're man-made, so therefore they have faults, okay? No lawnmower is perfect. There's, there, are, there are a machine. But... You also have to realize is that each mower does an awesome job depending on the type of grass, location, and conditions. You see what I mean? So don't let anybody fool you when it comes to what kind of mower. You know, this is the best mower, that is the best mower. Guys, don't let nobody fool you with that, okay? You, as an individual, need to figure out which mower 
does the best job for you in your location and under what condition okay simple as that now we're gonna cut these lawns right here and they are wet 100% wet and this mower is gonna do a fantastic job as you notice I don't have the mulching kit on the mower because I don't need it Okay, so here it is. One, two, three, four, and five. And what time did I start? I don't remember. Hmm. Well, it's uh, it's ten eighteen. Not sure what time I started. I want to say about nine, eight. 
I don't know. I got five done. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos, guys. Have a blessed one. See you on the next one. Pop smoke. Peace.